Britain's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office issued a travel advisory on Friday warning citizens against traveling to several parts of Nigeria, including the border with Niger Republic amid planned nationwide protests. The FCDO is responsible for advising British nationals about the risk of traveling to different countries, helping them make informed travel decisions in the advisory published on the UK government's website. The FCDO based its alert on the upcoming and bad government nationwide protest set to begin in Nigeria on August 1st, 2024, which is already gaining momentum. The FCDO's latest updates read, new information as of July 26th indicates that widespread public demonstrations are possibility across Nigeria and advised British citizens to research their destinations thoroughly before traveling. Okay, now, why are people scared? Everyone is panting. <laughs> like, why are people scared? Is this not supposed to be a peaceful protest? Now, see the reason. The reason is this. They say we are in a democratic system of government. We are in democracy. They said, but in real aspect, in reality, it is not playing out. Because the people are intending to come out peacefully to register their displeasure in form of protest. But the, the, the ogres in power, they know what to do with the uniformed men. This is why this, uh, um, people can issue out this warning to their citizens. This is why this warning is issued out. Because people leave their houses and come out peacefully to do this. But the people in charge will not want it to be peaceful. They would want to buy them, delete them, use forces on them. Meanwhile, they came out unarmed. I don't know how we got here. I keep saying this. I don't know how we got here. I don't know. To whom it may concern, you heard it. You heard it. It's a warning from Britain. Research your travel destinations in Nigeria before you embark on it. Thank you again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my nest as I bring your way again more trending news. Bye.